Zachariah Jackson, Bassett News. I'm in Elizabeth, New Jersey, at a flag raising right here in Union County. Uh, what is this? Two Broad Street in Elizabeth. Every annual Black History Month, the first of the month, they raise the flag with Salam Ishmael. But now, uh, will you introduce yourself to the camera? Uh, my name is Reverend Clyde Dunning. Reverend, I'm here with Reverend Clyde Dunning. Reverend Clyde, what took place down in Memphis, Tennessee? You know, it's all over the news. It's all, you know, over the world, basically. Yes. Uh, uh, what do you think? Um, you know, do we stand a chance because of, you know, police brutality? But not only do we say that that's police brutality, but those are black police that we have marched to somehow get them those jobs. Uh, well, what's going on? Are we are we looking too much at the white officers and not looking at the, the officers of color? And maybe there's a, a a dirty. My mother used to say to her, my little sister, "Don't go outside with a dirty underskirt." Is there a dirty underskirt with this thing? Well, I I, I believe that uh, America we're used to categorizing uh, categories into black or white or mm -hmm. police officers or civilians. My theory is that violence is violence no matter who does it. Uh, of course, you know, it has been uh, in the news and it has been broadcasted and exploited that the police officers with the black on uh, crime, but uh, we have to look at the pattern as a whole, the violence, whether it's by a black officer or from a white officer, that violence begets violence. Well, let, 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 let me interject this here. Yeah because I want to I want to be as clear as I can on this right here. I want to be as clear as I can. Um, are you talking out of both sides of your head? You know, because, and that's what some would think. One, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, at one time, we, we marched and we championed and we always say we need a black uh, police officer in the community. We need uh, a black prosecutor. We need a black this, that, and other. And what I'm getting from the curve, the word from the curve is that uh, this right here is something, this balance of these uh, black officers, no matter where they at, is just as worse as the violence of the white officers. So right. should we should we continue to march and say, hey, we need a black prosecutor or a black person on the jury and we still find people guilty or not guilty? Uh, so, you know, the, the, the audience, that we want to know from you, and, 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 you know, I know this is a very delicate situation. Yes, it's very delicate. It's like walking on eggshells. Sure. But I want you to walk on those eggshells because I want people to really get the gist of what we are, what we've been doing as civil rights reverends and things of that nature. Myself, I, or Reverend Zachariah Jackson from Church of What's Happening Now, owner of Bass, President of Bassa News, and Salam Ishmael over there, you know, United Youth Council, and you with your group. So, and you, in fact, you have a book recently out. Is that correct? That, that, is correct. that, that deal with um, civil rights. Yes. Okay. So now, if, with all that being said, how do we land this craft this time? Are we a laughing stock among the world? Well, I, I, I wouldn't say that we're a laughing stock of the world. I would just say again, we're drifting further and further from the answers by categorizing uh, black or white officers. Uh, again, it goes back to violence in general. We're marching, we're marching, but uh, could we be marching um, indiscriminately? Uh, I feel that in order for things to make a change, uh, whether it be white officers or black officers, that the laws have to change. We have to hold the officers, no matter what color they are, accountable to violence, unwarranted, unprovoked violence. And it has become a growing problem and I'm not narrowing it down to a black officer or a white officer because in my, in my uh, travels, I have had uh, problems with both. And it's not the color of the person, but it's the culture. Yes, yes, of, yes, yes, yes. It is the but, culture but, but, of the institution. Let, let me inject here and just say, so, you know, should I, should I get with my worry feet in the cold winter and march 
around courthouses and different things as we had marched and said we need black police officers. Should I say that or, or no, should no, I say that we, because so, what you're layering to is saying that it doesn't matter what color of police officers, violence is violence, yes, right? So exactly. then should I, should I believe the common foe, the, the, the poor proletarian that's picking itself up by the bootstraps that march to have black police officers, should I, should I just say, well, you know what? Uh, any police officer, hire any, or should I champion for, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? No, 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 I mean, it's good to uh, parade for uh, more black officers because we do need a balance within the community because of the disparities that do exist mm -hmm. in our community. Sure. But I think the important part in our, mar in our marching is not only to identify who the violators are or you know, the ones who provoke violence, but to raise the consciousness okay. of Americans, to raise the consciousness of uh, police officers, whether you're black or white, to raise the consciousness of just, in general, Americans, to let them know that we will not stand for violence and that we need stronger, we need stronger uh, laws in place. We need uh, laws that's gonna deter uh, okay. violence no matter who provokes it. So, sure. of course, we're gonna still yes, keep parading yes, for our black officers to be hired. Uh, yes. We need more yes. black officers There's in our community, God. people sure. that look like us, uh -huh. rather than having people who come into the community to judge and not know uh, the background sure. of the community and the history. Sure. who acts indiscriminately rather than acting on just cause. Okay. So, yes, of course, we do need to keep parading for more black officers. Okay. But righteous officers. Sure. You know, it's, it's not the color, but it, it, it's the mind and the conscious and the heart sure. of, an off, of the officer. Sure. I always said that there should be more stringent, uh, stringent uh, test okay. uh, to determine the uh, personality and, and, and the culture of the person okay. uh, in order to determine whether we have good belief officers on the force. All right. Okay, uh, uh, Reverend, uh, 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 let us know um, what's the name of your book that's uh, coming out? Yes, the, the, the book out. is out. It's called The Diary of an Angry Black Child Okay. Growing Up Under Jim Crow. Uh, and it's uh, available on, in paperback and in hard copy on Amazon.com. How can someone contact you? Well, you can um, contact me either by email or phone number. Mm -hmm. uh, my contact number is 908-230-5561. Also, my email is RevClydeDunning okay. at gmail.com. And you can be reached on Facebook also? And also on Facebook uh, under RevClydeDunning. Okay. All right. Again, this is Zachariah Jackson, Bassa News. Good day. All right. Thank you.